Hey everyone, so uh, today we're, well not today, last week uh, we started having an issue with my son's 12 volt right on Jeep here. Uh, this is a, so you've got your like power wheels and then you've got your, uh, you know, your power wheels brand that's like, you know, nice and great, awesome. Uh, then there's this uh, Jeep called, or I think the brand is like Best Choice Jeep. Uh, 12 volt right on whatever it's an awesome product i've seen so many reviews on it and then there's this one uh that's a little cheaper the best choice brand at least the different the only difference i can tell between this one and the best choice jeep uh because like i said that one's a little more expensive but this one they look exactly they look almost exactly the same um you know from like five feet away Except that the biggest difference I noticed on the Best Choice Jeep is it might have a couple extra lights on it, uh, little LED lights, you know, maybe up here on the uh, rail or the bar, uh, whatever this bar is called, uh, and maybe some tail lights. Uh, other than that, the other difference that I've noticed is on the Best Choice Jeep, the hood usually opens, and that's usually where the battery's kept, uh, as well as any other electronics wiring. We do have this Jeep here that's not working at the moment. The issue that we're having is we were we were using it, and it comes with this controller, which is supposed to, you know, you can, your kid can control it from, you know, sitting in the Jeep, or you can control it here from the controller itself. All right. Uh, anyway, it stops connecting. These little lights right here, it's got three little lights right there. Uh, whenever you turn this on, whenever you press a button, these lights start flashing. Let's see if I can get that in there. So they're flashing right now, all three lights. Let's see if I can actually focus on that. Anyway, they're all flashing. Whenever it connects to the Jeep, after you turn it on, it will only two lights will stay lit, no longer flashing. Anyway, it stopped doing that. It stopped connecting. And whenever I went to go see if it was manually working, the uh, accelerator, the pedal, was actually not doing anything. You would press down on the pedal, wouldn't no go forward, no go back. Okay, I just put new batteries in the remote. Turning on the remote. Lights are flashing, all three lights. Turning on the car itself with power button. Lights are still flashing not connecting anymore I've been using this for two weeks it stopped working about two days ago battery is at 12 at about 12.3 car is in low speed reverse holding down the accelerator nothing forward holding down the accelerator nothing Switching to high speed, forward, nothing, reverse, nothing, and remote is turned off, still didn't connect. Alright, now, this is the part that we're going to be replacing. Um, I'll show you all how to do that here in a moment. Obviously, I've already taken it out. I'll show you how I took it out, uh, as well as putting the new one in. Now, the part number for this one is CSR12T1A. All right, now, I've already kind of pre-taken this thing apart uh, to show you what happened. Um, let's see here. Take that out. If you'll look right here, you'll see some burn marks. And if you look right here on this here thing, whatever it's called, circuit board, I don't know. Anyway, uh, take a look right there. That, it might be hard to see in the camera, but that looks bad. That's not good. All right. Now, this right here, I don't really know exactly what it's called. I'm not really that kind of person that knows electron, at least not, you know, this kind of stuff 
Uh, I believe it's a capacitor. I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me a little more about it. I don't mind learning stuff, this kind of stuff. I just haven't yet. Anyway, that's what we're going to be replacing. So obviously it's damaged. Obviously it needs to be replaced. I'm assuming that it's going to make this work again. And by the way, all I need to replace this is your normal Phillips head uh, screwdriver. It's just your regular number two size. Absolutely nothing special about it. This thing is probably, it's Pittsburgh uh, brand. I think I got it from Harbor Freight. I don't even know. Anyway, this is all you need. Here we go. All right, so everything's already been loosened up. Uh, that way I can do this with one hand and show you. Um, at the seat. So on this Jeep, uh, as opposed to the best choice one that has everything under the hood, this one is under the seat. Uh, again, if you look at the actual electronics, the battery, everything, everything on this looks exactly the same. It's just in a different part. I don't know. Maybe it's cheaper to not have to put a hood on it. Anyway, there's a screw there holding this seat on. And then there's one more screw right there. So you loosen those. You take this off. I've already loosened them again. Uh, and this is what it looks like inside. Now, there. this is obviously this is what we're replacing the receiver. Uh, it's in here loose already because I've already, again, loosened everything up. Um, now there's one, don't, you really don't have to worry about mixing up these uh, plugs. They only go in there one way. They only fit one way. So you've got one plug, two plug, three plug, and four plug. All right, we're going to move those out of the way. Uh, this is actually the new one already in here, so I don't need to take it fully out. Uh, there is one screw there, one screw there, the silver one. And you're just going to take those out, pull the old one out, put the new one in, and you're good to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and screw this down. Let's see here. I kind of have the screws already started on the receiver to make this a little easier for myself. So, here we go. Alright, there we go. Now, uh, like I said, these these uh, plugs only fit one way. So, don't again, don't worry about mixing them up. Don't worry about having to label them. Uh, so, here we go. First plug there. Good to go. It's on there tight. It's got these little uh, tabs, so whenever you're removing them, Make sure you're actually pressing those in as you're pulling. You don't want to break those. All right, there's plug number two. Here it goes. I'm trying to keep these uh, from getting all wrapped up or twisted. I Honestly, if it got twisted up, I don't think it'd do any damage. But anyway, same thing. Here's a look at this one, the tab on it. As you're pulling it off, just make sure you press it in. All right, there we go. It's on there snug. And it's clipped on. Here's a look at this one again. Same kind of clip. There we go. That's the last one. Number four. Boom. All right. Now, let's give it a go. So the instructions on the back of this say, turn off the power switch on the car. It's off. Remove the battery cover on the remote control and put in two AAA battery and three LED indicators will flash. I've already done that. This thing already has new bat brand new batteries in it. It's all good to go. Uh, number three, turn on the power switch on the car. When the LED indicators stop flashing and two of them are on, matching successes. Once the matching is made, there is no need to match code again, only if the battery is replaced. The remote control will enter a sleep, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, doesn't need to be done after, again after that. Uh, I find it different. I find it actually has to connect every time. Either way, we've, let's see if it works. So, I'm, um, there we go. All right, they're flashing. That means they're looking, searching for the car. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Boom. Hey, look at that. Look, they're solid. That means it's connected. Let's see if it works. Press forward. Hey, there it goes. All right, and now the accelerator itself, oh, it's in reverse, so here we go. All right, accelerator, 
and there it goes. All right, so that obviously fixed it. Um, so if you have an issue where the, let's see here, where the remote control is not connecting, where the accelerator is not working, uh, this is very likely your fix. All right, so while putting this thing together, uh, I actually lost one of the uh, screws for the seat uh, because I'm doing this here in my backyard. Got grass everywhere. Uh, so I wanted to show y'all a little hack for finding screws. Um, I have this speaker, and I'm pretty sure I can take the uh, magnet off somehow. Anyway, I just use this almost like a handle. Anyway, I have this speaker, and I like to use the magnet on it. So I literally just wave it around. Nothing over here. Pretty sure I had the uh, seat over here in this area. Hey, see, there's a screw right there. All right, now everything is back on. Everything's good. Everything's nice and tight. Once again, flashing. Turn on. Connected. All good. Uh, <laughs> lastly, random shout out to my wife because she would love that kind of thing on a YouTube video. So, uh, Brittany, love you, babe. You're amazing. Absolute best wife, mother, everything. Anyway, uh, aside from all that, if you liked the video, if it was helpful at all, please like, share, subscribe. Um, that's going to be very helpful, especially since I think right now I have like four or five subscribers uh so thanks guys